Syria has agreed to turn over its chemical weapons in a deal put forward by Russia. Syrian President Assad says he is happy to turn over the weapons and maintains that the chemical attack in Damascus was not carried out by the government, but by the insurgent forces. You cannot use the sarin beside your troops. This is first. Second, you cannot use, you don't use WMD while you're advancing. You're not being defeated, you're not retreating. The, the whole situation was in favor of the army. This is second. Third, we didn't use it when we had pro bigger problems uh, last year. Third, when they talk about any troop or any unit in the Syrian army that's used these kind of weapons, this is false for one reason, because chemical weapons can only be used by specialized units. It cannot be used by any other units like infantry or, or similar traditional uh, units. So all what you've mentioned is not realistic and not true. Uh, definitely, so far as government, we have evidence that the uh, terrorist groups have used uh, sarin gas and those evidences, those evidence handed over to the uh, Russians. United Nations weapons inspectors from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons are on their way to Syria. Syria has already submitted a complete disclosure of all its chemical weapons. OPCW officials describe the information given to them by saying, quote, we are pleasantly surprised by the completeness of their declaration. The OPCW will begin the task of dismantling these weapons, as Syria is now a signatory member of the Chemical Weapons Convention. In an interview with Chinese television, President Assad expressed concern that the weapons inspectors in Syria would be attacked by rebel groups. He said, quote, there might be countries that might ask the terrorists to attack the inspectors to prevent them from doing their job and blame the Syrian government, unquote. Assad's concerns have precedent, as a UN weapons inspection team was fired on by snipers several weeks ago. This earlier attack was condemned by the Secretary General. The Secretary General said that he has instructed his high representative for disarmament, Angela Kane, to register a strong complaint to the Syrian government and authorities of opposition forces to avoid any further incidents and ensure the safety and security of the investigation teams. As the United Nations General Assembly is going to convene in New York City, the ongoing conflict in Syria and the threat of a U.S. military strike is on everyone's mind. Voices from around the world continue to push for an end to the fighting and a non-military resolution to the ongoing crisis. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.